Well, hello my friends and welcome back to my kitchen where we are going to make some of my favorite body butter. This is my absolute favorite thing to make when we are talking about homemade beauty products because it is so nourishing, so moisturizing to the skin and I absolutely love the fact that you can change up the scent depending on the season, depending on your mood, and it makes beautiful presents for this time of year, this holiday time of year. I don't know when you're watching this, but it is nearly December and I am making all kinds of homemade beauty products for my friends this year. And here is the little jar that I will be using for this body butter. I love these little four ounce mason jars because you can decorate them and make them super cute for the holiday season and definitely put, you know, whatever you would like in them. So this year I've got bath salts, I've got sugar scrub and this body butter, absolute favorite. All right, let's get to it. So I'm gonna be making a big batch and then transferring it to these little jars. So how I begin is by using a very large mason jar. You can see the large mason jar here that I use and I'm making kind of a double broiler, so to speak. So let me bring you a little bit closer in and you can see the double broiler, the pan with the water in it and then my big mason jar here. So everything is gonna go into the mason jar and it's going to get melted. All the ingredients are gonna be melted in and as the process goes, I will show you how it's done. So because I'm making a bigger batch, obviously more than just what's gonna fit in this little four ounce jar because I wanna fill 12 four ounce jars of this. So making a double batch here. Here are the ingredients for the double batch. Get your pen and paper out so you can write these down. The first is a cup of almond or olive oil. Then I'm gonna do a half a cup of coconut oil. And the coconut oil I'm using is the refined coconut oil like this. So yes, it's gonna be hard, right? Um, it's gonna be solid, not liquid, olive oil. And then we've got a half a cup of beeswax, and the beeswax is the natural yellow beeswax. This is going to be perfect for making everything stick together, giving it a nice consistency, and again, very nourishing and moisturizing beeswax. The little pellets you can see there. And then optional is to use two teaspoons of vitamin E oil if you would like. Again, more nourishing. You can also use two tablespoons of shea butter. I'm going to use the African shea butter here. And then at the end, once everything is melted, we're gonna take out the big mason jar and swirl it around, make sure everything's mixed. And that's when you add in your essential oils. We don't wanna add the essential oils while things are still melting and coming together that changes the integrity of the oil. We don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna wait till everything's finished. It's all liquid, then add the essential oils and then put everything into your jars. Then we let the jars sit and completely come to a rest. That way it looks very pretty on top, right? You keep that really pretty flat top surface. Yes, it will be yellow, but depending on the scent that you use, you can change up the flavor or the scent, however you would like, uh, depending on the holiday, right? Depending on the holiday season. This body butter is gonna be lavender because that's what most people like. My favorite is lemon and patchouli mixed together. That's the one that I typically make and use on a daily basis. So let's get started. We're gonna do one cup of almond or uh, olive oil. It's gonna go straight into my bowl here. So just using a cup and I'm almost out of olive oil. So I'm going to do probably half a cup of olive oil and then half a cup of my favorite sweet almond. Or it's actually, yeah, it's half a cup and half a cup to make it a cup. So here we go into my big jar. Now because it's cold out, I was very careful to heat up the jar as to not make it crack. I've had a couple of cracked 
stars. Not fun, not fun at all. So next ingredient to go in is the coconut oil. I'm gonna do a half a cup of co coconut oil. I'm not really big on measuring, so I have a clump that I'm just gonna stick in here. And it's probably enough. Again, this coconut oil, very moisturizing. Olive oil, extremely moisturizing. So you guys know when you are showering or bathing, you don't have to scrub every part of your body um, every single time, right? Because it's, it's very drying on the skin. Soap is very drying on the skin. Go back and watch my homemade soap body wash video because I did a whole video on a very nourishing, gentle body wash. But if you're still using conventional body wash or soap, get the places that matter, the places that stink. You know what I'm talking about here. But the rest of the body, give it a break, right? Give it a break every once in a while. We don't, we are not like living in the dirt, digging in the dirt for most of us. So you're not getting super dirty every single day. And we don't want, this is the one skin we get. Yes, it sloughs off, the cells slough off and we're able to make new skin. But as we age, the skin gets thinner and um, it gets bruised easily. And so we want to be gentle with the skin. We want to be very nourishing with the skin and that's what these ingredients are for. Very nourishing, very hydrating. And you'll notice that as you use it, when you get into the water, you know, to bathe or shower, or even if you're at the pool, that it will bead up. You know, the water will bead up because you have this slick kind of moisturizer <laughs> moisturizing that body and so it's not gonna the water's not gonna dehydrate you like it normally would so i use this at night before i go to bed after my shower and in the morning as well again nourishing right want to keep the skin as young and radiant and glowing as we possibly can so i don't use this on my face that's another question people ask I do not use it on my face because I have very oily skin. So, problematic, right? Don't wanna do that, but I will use it on the body. So as this is melting over here, I'm going to put in my beeswax. And again, beeswax is great for making things kind of gel together, stick together. And I'm gonna do a half a cup here, half a cup of beeswax into my concoction and just these little golden pellets they're so cute they don't smell like anything just so you know I'm not adding any kind of scent to your body butter which is great right because then we can use whatever scent that we want on top of that the next ingredient to go in here is going to be the shea butter. I am out of vitamin E. Normally I add a dropper or two full of vitamin E in here, but I don't have any right now. It's just something else that's very nourishing and healthy for your skin to put topically on. So the next part here is my African shea butter. And all these ingredients you can find on Amazon. So I'm going to do a healthy tablespoon here. You can do one or two tablespoons, whatever you like. And and you watch it as it melts. Now I use the same jar, you can tell, every time I make this body butter. It's the same jar, you guys. You don't have to get a new jar. But I take care of the jar, right? Because I just told you that they crack. If you're not heating it incrementally, it will crack on you and that is the last thing you want as you're trying to make your body butter or sunscreen, any kind of concoction that you want to make here, you don't want it to crack on you. The sunscreen, interestingly enough, zinc oxide, you just add some zinc oxide powder into this exact same recipe and you've got sunscreen. So I'm going to come back in just a few minutes as we wait for this to do its thing. 
melt all together. I'm going to be stirring it with my spoon, letting it rest for a while. It will take probably 10 minutes or so, 10 to 15 minutes for everything to come to a complete liquid form. And then we will move on to the next step. So stay tuned. All right, my friends, the liquid is completely done. It's completely liquefied. And let me show you the golden, beautiful liquid that is in here, all done. And that did take about 10 minutes or so. I don't know, I was stirring, it was all good. Now it's time for adding your essential oils. You can add whatever combination of oils that you like here. So don't be shy. Try all the different oils that you would like to try. And you know, you're gonna use probably five to 10 drops depending on the integrity of the oil, you know, what type of essential oil you're using, what brand you're using. It's gonna depend on how many drops you want to use through here. So I suggest that you do a few drops, you stick your nose into that jar and see what you think. Is it done? Do you like it? Does it need more? Um, this lavender is pretty darn strong and it is pretty liquid. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, I'm gonna stick it into a little jar, show you the jar, and then we will be done. So here it is. I just poured it into my little four ounce jar, and I'm gonna let this rest, right? Just put it out on the counter. I'm not gonna put the lid on it just yet. You put the lid on when it's completely and totally solid so you don't want to put the lid on while it's wet and while it is drying and still hot don't do it friend it will it will not be good it will not be good in the end so just line up your jars fill them up put a nice pretty ribbon on it and there you have it you are done with a very nourishing lavender body butter thanks for joining me today and if you enjoyed these homemade homemade beauty products, check out the playlist, hit that subscribe button down below for more videos as I post videos about once a week here on my channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.